Most of the time, NASCAR races aren't won by the car that turns the fastest laps with fresh tires. Why? Because most of the time you won't have fresh tires. That car that handles like a dream with fresh tires can quickly turn into an ill-handling nightmare after just a few short laps if you don't know how to manage your tire wear. So how do you know just how conservative you should be? Well, a lot depends on the track. At some tracks, the tire wear is so low that you'll be able to do an entire fuel run on a single set of tires without breaking a sweat. At other tracks, the wear level is so high that you'll be wishing for fresh rubber after just a few laps. Other tracks fall in between those extremes. The key is to practice and find out. Try to drive fast, consistent laps, open up your F5 box, and note how quickly the tire wear drops off. From time to time, open up the F3 box to see how much fuel you've got left, so that you can get a good gauge of how your tires are wearing in relation to your fuel load. Once you've got a good idea of just how far you can go on a set of tires, you'll have a leg up on your competitors, and you'll be able to plan a solid strategy once you factor in the race distance. You'll also have a big advantage during a late race pit stop, when others are agonizing over whether or not they'll be able to finish the race on their current set of tires. Tires aren't the only thing you'll need to manage while you're racing. You'll also need to pay attention to your fuel mileage. Not having to make a splash and go pit stop a couple of laps from the finish can get you a win every now and then. So how can you win the fuel mileage game? Well, just like it is with tire wear, knowledge is power. So you'll need to have a good feel for just how many laps you'll be able to run on a tank of fuel. Again, each track is different, so you'll just need to get out there and run until you're out of fuel or until tire wear forces you to pit. Once you've arrived at that number, and once you know the total race distance, you'll be able to get a good feel for how many fuel stops you'll need to make during the race. When that critical last pit stop comes, you'll be in a great position to know how much fuel you'll need to finish the race. The fuel mileage game can become muddled when the yellow flag flies. Here's a quick rule of thumb that will help. Running two laps under caution burns approximately the same amount of fuel as running a single lap at full racing speed. Here's a final fuel conservation tip. When pacing, use a high gear. It doesn't exactly amount to a huge savings, but when you're trying to stretch your fuel to make it to the end of the race, every little bit counts.